If you're new, press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Asalaamu Alaikum everyone, welcome back to our SHIB update today. So um, yesterday we talked about SHIB in a little bit of a detail and I said that you know we can have a 122% pump to the upside if you somehow come to 1900 and back to 1600 because on the daily time frame we have a massive double top, uh, uh, sorry double bottom which is known as Adam and Eve double bottom. So first bottom, second bottom right there, come up like this, come up, break this wall and then try to move even higher. So that's one thing that I am looking for SHIB at the moment. So basically you do have um, some technical targets to continue higher. Um, so today um, I'm still worried about Bitcoin at the moment and uh, I think there's a place that SHIB hasn't really back tested and if, we, if you look at this level here that's the place where SHIB hasn't come down to back test things. So could we have a retracement um, due to Bitcoin because Bitcoin is looking for $22,000 and you can clearly see you also have another pattern that you just broke out of massively and you can actually expect a retracement down to $1,199 and backtest $1,199 and then from here basically try to push all the way to the upside. That's one thing because uh, you can see you had one resistance here, second resistance right there, third resistance right over here, uh, come up with the bull flag right there, but you didn't actually backtest anything here. All you did is you shot to the upside and now you have some bearish candles that can scream retracement down there. So that's one thing you've got to keep in mind. Let's look at the EMAs and how the EMAs are looking at. So maybe that's a push down to the 10, 20, try to come down here, spend some time there, let the 55 come up and then continue with the journey to the upside. Now we do have a very clear bull cross and that's actually a good thing. The bull cross happened down here, went up, back tested the 10, went up, back tested the 10, went up, maybe come down to the 10 again, or maybe move even lower and then finally continue even higher. That's one thing you can look at. Now if I look at the smaller time frame now there is an issue and this issue is that you are uh, the one hour time frame says you're looking for a, uh, a small correction not a downtrend not a dump but a correction so all you did right now is you can even say you have left shoulder head here and the right shoulder which is a small distribution happening so you can actually go just a little bit up to 1445 and then a backtest 1445 and then move lower so that's going to be a price drop from there to there and you're looking for a move to the downside which is actually going to be 1255 and that's going to be a dump if you actually come up to backtest the, uh, the neckline for a 12 13 percent correction to the downside now that's not bad i think that's still healthy and uh, you know that's a part of a correction you know now i do expect it to come down here and even move to 1193 and back test 1193 before it starts to move to the upside and if everything goes well okay on the daily time frame if this pattern which one which is like you know this pattern right here that you're breaking out of and you know you come down and back test 12 or 1199 then you're looking for a technical target from there to there and you move all the way up to uh you know 1934 and that's going to be an amazing price increase for SHIB of nearly 57 56 percent move to the upside so that's pretty much it for this update on SHIB quick one and i'm going to see you in the next one